Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Rahman. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the, yeah, what does that mean by the way? Does anyone know what it means? Put your hand up if you know what it means. Come on, come on. One of you. Brother, you know what it means, yeah? What does it mean? May the peace, the mercy, and the blessing. Yeah, you got it right. Okay. So when I ask Muslims this, especially the youth, they say, oh, it means hello. <laughs> Hell is low. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Okay. Where's your mummy and daddy? <laughs> this is why I said the next question, you know. We start by praising our cre uh, collective creator, the, the one that created the universe, the one that created everything in the universe, the one that created every human soul and every animal and every species. And it's a vast number of species, a vast earth world. In fact, we, we only know something to the degree of around two to three percent of the known universe and then the known universe is very small compared to the what is apparently out there almost infinite you see so in this you know backdrop human beings have to somehow make sense together this is what it's all about togetherness this tour is about togetherness it's about coming together and being real with each other Let's be real with it, man. You know what I mean? That's what we say in London, yeah? You have a place called London here? Because most, <laughs> most places where the Brits came, you know, they call everything London and Birmingham. And <laughs> is there Liverpool here? Yeah? There is isn't. There is isn't in the US, right? No, yeah. Mecca. There, there's Mecca. <laughs> is that the place where they do the gambling? Um, yeah, we, we have a place like that in the UK. Really, guys, so we, we try to make connectivity and togetherness in this tour. Because when we, when, like John has mentioned, when we saw this from afar and we saw this diabolical thing going on, and it, 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 it was like one of the games that our children are always playing, you know, live on <laughs> the world wide web where all connectivity happens and suddenly there's no connectivity with human beings and that's why it happened. Right? You see? So from, from a world where, you know, there's more connectivity. I mean, the fact that I'm here tw 33 hours ago, well, it's around 40, 45 hours ago when I left, you know, and I'm here, the longest, John tells me it's the longest flight in the world, right? <laughs> from Leicester. <laughs> where is that place? <laughs> Leicester. <laughs> I call it Morster, because it has more Muslims, more mosques, <laughs> more trouble. <laughs> you know what I mean? The greatest football team the world's ever seen, you know? The greatest rugby team it was at the Leicester Tigers. We have a real famous rugby uh, player from these parts of the world as well, don't we? Who was he? No, 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 no. no Sonny Bill is playing in uh, Canada, Canadawa. Canna? Dawa, sorry, couldn't resist that one. Um, yeah, there's, uh, I, can't, I can't pronounce his name. Turu, tur, Turu Langi, is it Turu Langi? Yeah, he's, I think he's from Samoa, yeah? Anyway, forget that, that was just like, <laughs> you know, I'm going on. <laughs> anyway, we need to be connected, guys. We need to connect. And that's what this tour is all about, because when we saw that stuff going on, from across the world, we said we've got to do something about it. And that's why we, we, we you know, we agreed with Voice of, Voice of Islam and Ayurah to come here today. Now, some of the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, has, has said regarding the connectivity of human, humans in general is that they come from one family, from one woman and one man. And that he has created from one, that one woman and that one man, that unity, that, that, that unit, that first unit, many nations and tribes that we would know one another, that we get to know one another. 
So in a way, the diversity factor is the thing which will allow us and encourage us to get to know one another. Now, the, f the problem is, because I mentioned about the connectivity thing that's gone wrong, right? So in my country, uh, you know, you don't know your neighbor anymore. <laughs> so you know a, a million people on Facebook, right? Or, you know, 20,000 on Facebook or whatever it is. But you, you've never actually tried to go and see your neighbor. So connectivity has, has now been narrowed down in the, in, in, in the, in, in the most important um, sphere, which is direct human contact, and it's increased in a very, um, what's the word, in, 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 a, you know, in, in a very, very sort of skin deep uh, fashion, okay, online through social media. Then what's social about this media? Therefore, you know, and isn't it true that attacks like what happened in Christchurch and what happens in, in many parts of the world is actually stoked on social media. People learn what they think they know about me, what they think they know about you, and then they use that to, you know, attack us, uh, whether that's, uh, you know, through verbal attacks, or whether that's through physical attacks, you know. Uh, you know, in order, you know, because what they've learned is not actually the truth, they haven't thought about going and hearing it from the horse's mouth. That's why Muslims particularly, it's important that you wake up and you start to shake up uh, the world with this message of, of peace and love and togetherness. And that's what it really essentially is. We need to go back to our smaller units. So we started off with the family and we start with the family. And then what is sa sacred in, the, in, in this beautiful message of Islam, in this tradition of Islam, in this, in this way of life of Islam, is the connectivity with the neighbors. So the Prophet Muhammad ibn Abdullah, the son of Abdullah, peace and blessings be upon him, he used to talk to the companions about this issue of the neighbor, you know? And the, na the, the, the companions used to say that they thought that the neighbors would inherit their wealth because he was going to go on about it so much, you know, emphasizing the importance of the neighbor. So the, the, the most important thing that we can do with this message of togetherness of unity, of love, of peace, of peaceful coexistence, of recognizing individuality and diversity, is to first of all get to know yourself. <laughs> you thought I was going to say neighbor, right? Get to know yourself. Who are you in this universe, in this vastness of this incredible, uh, you know, creation? Did it just come into being on its own? Why are you here? Like John, I had to ask those questions, what was it, 28, 30 years ago? I can't remember now. <laughs> when I was, you know, when I was a young kid growing up, I had to ask those questions. Nothing else made sense until I'd asked those questions. It's like a person who goes on a journey, right? And for example, if I was to ask you, my brother, uh, we're going on a journey, Tomorrow morning, I'll see you at 8 o'clock in the lecture theatre here, right? And now, obviously, I need to give him a little bit more information, right? <laughs> so what are you going to ask me? Well, yeah, where are you going? <laughs> I'm just going to tell you, no, we're just going on a journey. Don't worry about it. Do you see the point? So uh, not asking these questions, guys and giving all the people around you who've got all different ideas and interesting ideas, you know, to, 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 to throw at you is tantamount to you going on a journey without knowing why and knowing the destination and how you're going to get there, okay? We all know we're on a wide-body jet. <laughs> we're here on this wide-body jet together. 
And instead of asking me, you're going to ask a third party who actually hates me. <laughs> you're going to say, you know that brother Yusuf? <laughs> wow. You know what he said. <laughs> Let me show you in, in Peace TV, 19, whatever it is, <laughs> he said this. And then apparently he said this, and somebody, you know, and usually they get it from Sheikh Google. You know, Sheikh Google? You know? So they type into Google whatever you want to know. Fatwa on Yusuf Chambers. <laughs> Extremist. <laughs> Terrorist. <laughs> you see what I mean? So we need to, in this, in this road show, which is your road show as well, it's not my road show, I'm just here. I just so happened to be here because they thought, well, he's done a bit of work, you know, let's invite him. Your road show is to go out after this event and take action with your beautiful faith. And that does not mean going around hurting people because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi never used to hurt people. And the proof of that is that when Rasulullah, the Prophet Ibn Abdullah, re returned to uh, Medina, the first thing he did, what, what did he do? He instructed the people. And you, you're talking about all the people that have been warring against him, that have been killing his best friends, been killing his family members. They'd been, you know, calling him a liar calling him a soothsayer, calling him, you know, you know, a fake, a phony. The first thing this man did was to forgive all the errors and the, mis the mistakes of all the people around him. And he instructed the people, spread the salams. That's why I asked you, what does salam mean, actually? Who are you? Who are you in this universe? Are you really a what they call a mu Islam, a one who does Islam. What does Islam mean? To somehow subjugate your desires, to give in. Are you a Muslim? Really? Can you prove it <laughs> in your actions? You see, so we, we need to go back to the basics. To spread the salams is what he told them to do, and go and feed the needy, go and feed the orphan, go and feed the miskeen, the, you know, go and feed the poor, go and prove you're a Muslim. And you'll see the results. What we do in Leicester is we, we open a center right in the town center away from the Muslim community, okay? Because this is what I learned from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Peace and blessings be upon him. The final messenger. And we prove Islam in front of people. And I never called anyone to Islam in that center. I'm, I'm not joking. I never called one person to Islam in that center. But I've had at least 25 shahadas there. All I did was, in the middle of the town center, to establish Islamic practices, to feed the poor, to look after the needy. We took the homeless off the street, we put them in the place, and they slept there during the night. It was tough. Don't get me wrong. It was, <laughs> wow, just the smell of some of these guys when they were coming in with the alcohol and, and, and the fact they didn't have any clean clothes. It was really difficult. You know, we took the refugees out of the, all of the, wow, an example. We took the refugees from the Christian churches because all the refugees were going to the Christian churches, brothers and sisters, in the faith. And we put them in that center. And you know, the Christians used to say to us, why, I, why are you guys not doing anything for your brothers and your sisters? They shamed us. They were more Islamic in their practice than we were, brothers and sisters. I'm really saying this. It's not always the case that, you know, that every Christian is bad and every non-Muslim is bad. No, this is wrong for us to even make these, you know, don't otherize people. You know, we're going to be talking about this on the tour. Don't 
stereotype people and put them all, tar them with the same brush, you know? So we slowly but surely, we just proved Islam. Right? People come to the center and they say, what is this place? <laughs> is it a church? They say, if you want it to be, come in. Some people, they come in and they, they take the Bible and, and they start reading the Bible. And we say, look, there's another kind of book over here as well. Quran. Or it's the book about the Quran. They should, be, they should feel, you know, you know a, a wonderful sense that, 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 that they can express themselves in that environment and speak to anyone about any issues. So we allowed them to speak about any issues. We had one guy come into the center, and he really hated Islam. He was a, he was a casual, a football casual. And, you know, he, he basically... When he came in, he was saying, you're a Muslim center, right? <laughs> Not in that accent, obviously. You're a Muslim center. A bit like that. <laughs> we said, no, we're, we're a center for, for everyone. We're run by Muslims, but we're, you're in here. We haven't told you to leave, you know? And anyone's welcome. And at that time, some of his friends from one of the council estates in Leicester was looking after some of the homeless people. So he knew about the center from that action. Okay? So we allowed them to be, you know, also non-Muslims to be volunteers in our activities. And then after three hours of really going after this guy called Abdullah Benjamin, he's a, he's a revert to Islam, uh, you know, he basically came in the day after and he gave us 500 pounds donation. This is a guy who hated Islam. Now, the thing is, talk is cheap, brothers and sisters. Talk is cheap. You know? The Adhan in Britain. Don't worry. The Adhan is that I've got to finish as well. <laughs> That's another Adhan for me. But, you know, from hate to acceptance, because we were doing the message of Islam, we weren't talking. Really, I know sometimes you've got to talk, right? Don't, don't get me wrong. And, it, you know, Ayura does a lot of that stuff. And th they, they have an intellectual, uh, you know, approach uh, to, to, to trying to make people understand that their faith is very, very special around the world. They do a lot of that stuff. But we've got to show the, you know, actually what, we, what I've been doing is normalizing Islamic practice in non-Muslim areas. So we made MOUs with churches, and we delivered the food with them. And they saw, what are these Muslims doing in, with our church group? And now they start to ask us questions. Do you see what I'm saying? Don't otherize yourself. Become influencers in every sphere of life. That's why the Prophet, look, if the Prophet Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, if he did not reach out to the people and go to the people with this message, would you and I be here today? Would we? We wouldn't be here. If he just left it with his family members, like we, now we've, we've gone back to tribes and families, Kabbalah. We've gone back to the tribes, brothers and sisters. That's why we don't know each other. Remember, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa I'm going to leave you with this. He said, you know, that none of you truly believe until you love for others as you love for yourself. Your narrative is to go out and share this beautiful message with actions, with kindness, with smiles, moving a harmful object out of the way, you know, you know giving food. We just saw one of the brothers from Samoa, John was supposed to mention it. A brother, I didn't know he was from Samoa. I don't know too much about the culture here, but first thing I do is a BP, British Petroleum Station. Yeah? God, they get everywhere. You know? And, the guy, and the, I'm looking at the guy, and then the guy, he's giving some food to a, 
a, like a down and out guy on the street. And I, and, and I looked at him, I, I smiled and appreciated his action. He was doing an action. I was thinking, I don't know whether, who he is. He came into the station and I smiled at him and waved and I said, I love what you did out there. Thank you very much. You know what he said? My name is Mohammed. Salam Wali. Takbir. Am I allowed to do that here? <laughs> that was our first evidence that, like these guys had mentioned, some good people here. New Zealand has a good, a feel good factor, you know? And it was nice the fact that it was a Muslim actualizing the message of Islam that made us feel proud to be here today. And I thank Allah, first and foremost, our collective creator, because there's only one creator of all of you beautiful people, of all of this, these, these North and South Islands of the of, of, of this, this globe, of, this, um, of these planets and this solar system and, and, and beyond the solar system and all the universes. And, uh, you know, and, and, and I also thank the organizers, uh, Voice of Islam, and the university for allowing us to be in this blessed space, um, the people of New Zealand, and all of you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. And I, I pray that we will come together um, very soon again and that we will, we will hold hands and say we will have a shared purpose in this world, a shared creator, and that is God Almighty who created all of this. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.